Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Please sit down. I think I mentioned that last week, but I like to think of the F natural as an E sharp, because it's a C sharp major chord that we have here at the end. Could we go for the ending again, letter C, letter C, s'il vous plaît? Let's see how we're doing with the... Uh, bel job, bel job. So can we have, uh, without the tenor solo, can you all sing the tenor, uh, the tenor one line at this point, tenors? Letter C, with everyone. And let's have a really dark A. Uh, oh, oh, no, it was perfect. The intonation was perfect. Alors, pas trop A, uh, but A. Uh. Let's have that, please. Letter C. C'est ça, c'est ça. C'est un petit peu trop A. Ah. Oh, pensez à cœur uh, anglais, là. Think very English choir. d'insistance sur le la, les ténors. We insist a little more on that A when, you, some, when, when those of you who go down to the A. And um, could you give a sense of density to that whole line? Perhaps with a more open kind of, imagine fortissimo, but sing soft, but imagine a really loud sound that has a more, little more intensity. C'est bien ce que vous faites. Jean-Sébastien, tu as une question? Yeah, the for the A. 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 Oh, Ça répond à ta question, ça? Oui, donc c'est plus large. Ben, moi, c'est eh. Eh. Oui, c'est ça. OK, let's try that again. And give density. Give density. And, and try entering without any kind of glottal attack. So we have, ah, uh, but, ah, uh, almost like with an H before. So it has a really soft entrance feel. That pianissimo could be, I think, just a little more soprano two, just a tad more. Why don't we have three on the soprano two right there? Ah, toi, tu chantes soprano deux là? Ben, écoute, pourquoi pas? J'essaie de regarder un quatre, trois. Oui, c'est une bonne idée. Ok, on va faire ça plutôt avec avec Audrey. C'est très, c'est une très bonne idée. Can you enter softer altos? Let's just check two. Je pense que ça va bien. Super. Base two and base one, make sure that the base twos are slightly, you know, above in terms of volume so that we have more of the E. Cascade down a little faster rhythmically on that triplet. Cha ka ka ka. Think of a forward going triplet instead of a, of a, of a retardando tri a triplet, okay? And um, so can we, can we try that right at the bar of 3 4? One without end. One without end. Good job. Let's have that again. Let's just be. I'll try and be clear on that second beat of those. Once again. Yeah. Altos. Eh? This is E major, so you go second tonic, leading tone. We have just uh, oh, you guys will get it, I think, eh? Vous allez l'avoir? Let's try it. Oh, 
voir un peu plus de crescendo dans la première mesure. Third bar before the end. Can we have a bit more of a crescendo there? It, the crescendo starts a little late, just a little late. And can we have a really dark A of the Amen? Un octave en bas, mais. Voyez ce que je veux dire? Try that. The three last bars, please. Crescendo started at a good place, but I think we have to just be a little more, a little more less. <laughs> a little plus, moins, uh, it was just a little too loud. Let's say that we end on a mezzo forte, no more. Unless, Karen, you feel it has to be very powerful, but I think the chord is powerful in itself, and I think mezzo forte will be fine. Could we try that again and really concentrate on the color of the vowel? Because it's a little too, ah, ah. Think of those, you know, Salisbury Cathedral or something, you know, just very, oh, kind of sound like this. space to keep the crescendo going on the last chord. C'est bien ce que vous faites tout le monde. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, uh, section. Let's go to section B. Section B, s'il vous plaît. Can we say text in rhythm? Text en rythme, s'il vous plaît. 